Hello and welcome back to another CSS Tech Talk. Today I would love to run you through the brand new SSP9. Well, SSP9 is clearly indicating we designed another bracket especially made for our stabilizer systems. So let's see what are the key features of the SSP9. Clearly here you can see the clamp mechanism, then you can see the shape of the sand plate. So this bracket is always mounted below a sand plate. You can see four M4 frets at the back, which are made for RMB3 or SSP4 brackets, which allows you to add much more accessories. And here at the bottom, you see three eight frets, including the location pin holes which allows you to mount any kind of rails or Noga arms, or in our case, like on the Trinity, we're going to mount the counterweight. Because till today, most of the time, we mounted the counterweight directly into the sand plate, right? So once the weight is there, it got a fixed position. But of course, to get a better, perf uh, better and more perfect balance in the end, it would be much better if we would be able to move the counterweight slightly fore and aft to reach the sweet spot. And this is exactly what the SSP9 is made for. And of course, there are other things we can do with the SSP9 at the front of the camera. Just let me show you. Obviously, we can use the SSP9 at the front to mount extra counterweight below the lens, but on top, we can also use it for assemblies like this. SSP9, Noga arm, and the horns. The good thing about this setup is when the camera comes from the tripod, it is super easy and super fast to mount all this extra gear with the SSP9 to the camera. So the SSP9 for sure is a good bracket to save setup time. And there's a third thing you can do with the SSP9 and I'm going to show this to you in a second. The SSB9 is also perfect for the new 360 EVO. Why? Very simple. The new 360 EVO got a wider inner ring. That means we have to lift the cameras to reach the nodal point of the sensor. So what you need first is the SAM0 plate. And now we're going to place the first SSB9 right at the front of the SAM0. And the second SSP9 at the back of the SAM0. And this way we generate something, what we call a sandwich. So now make sure that below the camera there is the right dedicated SAM plate mounted, like in our case the SAM6. And now let's move in the camera. And of course once the camera is in, you have to lock the clamps. And finally you have to tighten both 3.8 screws. So as you can see, using the SSB9 and a SAM0, you can create something what we call the sandwich, which also means if you have more tiny camera bodies and you have to move the camera more or less higher to reach the nodal point, just do this a second time. Take a second SAM0 and another two SSB9s to create a second level. On this, you can mount then the camera. So I hope you liked this little video explaining you the SSP9 and hopefully we're going to see us again soon.